It was the summer of 1985. 18-year-old actress Claudia Wells was making her big screen debut as Jennifer Parker, girlfriend in Steven Spielberg's blockbuster classic, Back to the Future. I'm excited I finally got a movie because it got down to me and one or two other girls probably 10, 12 times. And Michael J. Fox, I was excited about him because he's so cute. While the movie catapulted her to international fame, Claudia would soon fade into obscurity. The youngest of three, Claudia was a natural in front of the camera. By 12 years old, she was living in L.A. with her single, divorced mom and landing a number of small TV roles. She loved the work, attention, and the chance to be someone other than herself. My fun and joy was when the camera was on and I got to be a person and act because every single role I played, I got to take a part of me and express it. That's because at home, her alcoholic mother made sure her daughter knew the real Claudia was someone to be despised. I thought everyone grew up hearing, I regret the day you were ever born. I really thought that was a normal thing. I was either the greatest or I was worse than my father, worse than her mother. I don't know, she was, she was, it, 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 I didn't know who I was because I was told so many different things. Her mother burned through Claudia's money as she controlled every aspect of her daughter's life. That included her weight. I used to have to stand in front of my mom's bed and turn while she sat there and told me I was too fat. And I wasn't, I wasn't. Claudia became obsessed with being thin, always on a diet. Then at 14, she was found in her bedroom unconscious after trying to overdose on her mother's prescription pills. That was my intention, completely. It was not a cry for help. It was a, I'm done. I don't deserve to be here anyway. I'm too fat. By the time 1982 rolled around, two years later, little had changed for the budding star. Only now she was bulimic, taking up to 60 laxatives a day. It was then she was cast in the TV series Herbie the Love Bug, starring Dean Jones. Claudia became friends with the late actor and his wife, Lori. He talked to me about the hole that was inside of me, and if I don't fill it with God, and if I don't fill it with Jesus Christ, it'll get filled with men and drugs and problems. So I said the sinner's prayer with Dean at lunch one day, and I became saved. Not really understanding anything that that meant, but God heard me. So Claudia continued to believe the voices in her head, telling her she was a mistake. Meanwhile, her acting career flourished, and in 1984, she landed a role in her first feature film, Back to the Future. I was terrified because I got a movie, and in my brain, I was thinking, oh no, my legs are gonna be so big, it's not just TV. I wonder if I'm skinny enough. The movie's success made Claudia an instant star. Then, after the movies released in 1985, her mom was diagnosed with cancer. After working in television two more years, Claudia called it quits, saying she needed to take care of her mother. I took care of her the best that I could. I was not in a place emotionally to do anything that had anything to do with acting. I was also angry and I stopped acting because it was so important to my mom. Bulimia and later drugs and alcohol would control Claudia's life for years until 1992 when she entered a rehab program that led to her eventual recovery. By then she had opened a men's clothing store called Armani Wells. And even though she was moving forward in life, going to church, running a successful business, Claudia couldn't move past the pain of her childhood. I built brick walls in front of me physically in my brain. I built them and her yelling got softer and softer and softer. Then in 2008, she took a step closer to healing and God when her mother lost her battle with cancer. Claudia finally saw her as she was, a woman like herself who was broken. And I said, God, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for the horrible things I said about her. I'm sorry for hurting her on purpose by destroying myself to the best of my ability. 
Please, will you forgive me? Then, a few years later, the voices of self-condemnation and guilt would finally be silenced. Then it occurred to me, wait a minute, why am I being so horrible to myself? Jesus died on the cross, and he took up all these horrible sins that I'm condemning myself for. And I said, I am not a mistake. I am not a mistake. And I was sobbing. I didn't even know that I thought it was a mistake. I just knew that she regretted the day I was born. And then I went up to the guy, the preacher, and I said, I'm not a mistake. And he hugged me, and I, I said, I'm not a mistake. Yeah, it's actually... Today, Claudia is still running her clothing store and has made several appearances on television. She even takes time to sign an autograph or two. God has given me such a level of peace, and it's from him. And I can prove, I am walking, talking, proof that God is real, that Jesus Christ exists. Every blessing comes from him.